Hey guys, so we just got back from our first festival ever, Moonrise. It was a two-day festival in Baltimore and had some of the coolest lineup. It was incredible. So we want to talk about our experience and also what we've learned from our experience so we can give you guys some tips when you go to your next festival or your first festival. So being that this was a summer festival, it was very hot and it went from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m and that put us outside dancing like hard in the middle of the day and subsequently you will need a lot of water and a lot of shade and shade is something that you can't really depend on having so you're gonna have to get even more water um, so for that I suggest bringing a camel back whenever you want you can just drink some water. Um, another thing was sunscreen. And if you like, if you burn easily, you probably want to wear sunscreen. Like on the second day, I wanted to wear sunscreen because I was starting to turn into SpongeBob at the end of SpongeBob SquarePants movie. <laughs> <laughs> so those are two things that you really probably want to invest in. Uh, sunscreen and some form of like water reservoir on your back. Her and I also had like these portable fans. These are like five bucks. That's and on cool. the second day, like I gave one to my, my friend's girlfriend and like we just shared. Very, very nice if you just want like a refreshing breeze. So another thing about festivals is they are wicked expensive. Money just goes like so quick, it's not even funny. Well, I would recommend eating like a ton before the festival and eating a ton after the festival. Try not to eat at the festival. Another thing that I would invest in would be a really good fanny pack, such as this one. Um, what, what's the brand name on this? Oh, so this is Jaunt Fanny Pack, and okay. they, like, these are made really well. Yeah. These are made really well. I bought a fanny pack. It was a spiral, like, the brand name is Spiral Fanny Pack from iHeartRaves.com. And I was at a set for, the first set for like 45 minutes and it broke. Like right completely here. Completely broke. Like right here, completely tore and I had to go buy one of these. This one on their website is $40. It was really expensive on their website and it was really expensive at the festival. It was $40 at the festival. But I needed something to carry all my stuff. It's really good. It has a ton of little pockets. It has a built-in wallet. And I don't know if like they want security to know about this one, but see the seam? This is also a pocket. It's really difficult for someone to rob you or for you to lose something because it's right in front of you. Yeah, it keeps your valuables safe and accessible. Speaking of safe, if the festival that you have does provide lockers, I would recommend getting a locker. Now, at bigger events, lockers do get more expensive, at this event, lockers were $30. What people do is usually they have like a group of people and they all throw money for the locker because if you have, if you're a candy kid and you really wanna bring like, you know, all of your really nice cuffs or you wanna trade with some people with your big cuffs, you know, you don't wanna be carrying those around all night. Also at night, it can get cold and you wanna bring a jacket, you have some place to put it in a locker. So you wanna make sure that you have comfortable expendable shoes that you can wear to your next festival or like just like everyone has that pair of shoes so for you like you wore these these look pretty comfy mine were not comfy enough i wore shoes that were too small but um Aww. yeah it's okay I, I lived yeah i saw people lot. walking around in like sandals and flip-flops so and like people's feet were like beet red and like they had like all these tons of blisters everywhere and i was like do you like I don't, I just don't know. I don't know how you, never wear sandals. Leave it to, to a the festival. pros. So I was thinking about bringing a bandana before moonrise, but I thought to myself, well, it's on a race track. It's on the inner of a race track and it's all grass anyway. So why would I want to bring a bandana if it's all grass? 
Well, that grass, as we said earlier, turns into complete dust and dirt like three hours into the event because there's just so many people jumping around, walking, that everything just turns into dust. <laughs> the, second, the second day, I bought this bandana. It's the Moonrise bandana. It's actually really, really, really cool. It was totally worth it. Yeah. And it makes you look cool, too. Yeah, it made me look really cool. I wore it in some Snapchat videos, which I will post. So another important thing for the festival and like all the dust and the sun all together is sunglasses. You wanna make sure to bring some pair of sunglasses. A cheap pair. All right, so this next thing is pretty optional, but I would recommend bringing some candy. This is candy. Uh, they're like just these little bracelets. I think I've gone over this in some of my other videos. They just really are great conversation starters because of you can trade candy with people like this. Peace, love, unity, respect. And then you take a bracelet and you give it to them and then they give you a bracelet. But if they don't have any candy, you can always be the first person to give them candy and be like, hey, let's plur. Don't be shy to go up to people and like just talk to them. I'm just gonna tell a quick story. There was this girl when we were getting stuff out of our lockers or putting something in our lockers. She had sunscreen. She let us borrow her sun, well, let us have some of her sunscreen because we were like burning up and like, well, not borrow, <laughs> like, yeah. But she gave us some sunscreen and stuff and I just gave her a piece of candy and uh, she just looked so happy. It's a really great way to like make people feel better. So another thing you want to think about um, when you're going to a festival is your wristband. Whether or not you can pick it up like a day before or the day of, you want to know where the wristband's going to be and how far away it is from the entrance. So they let us pick up the wristband a day early. And I thought that was a great opportunity to kind of like see where we were going to be because yeah, I've never definitely. been there before. So definitely see if um, there's early wristband pickup. If you're like in the area where you're staying at a hotel, you can pick it up, check out the area, and then head back and do whatever. I'm like, look at that. That's just a piece of art. And the best thing is, like, after the festival, you can break it and just have it for, like, as a regular wristband. It's super cool. These wristbands, they have these little black knot things. That, well, they're not knots. They're pieces of plastic. But they can only go one way, and that's tight. So if you want to be able to slip your wristband on and off, like in between days, like take a shower or just not have it on, keep it loose until after the festival's over and then you can just take other pliers, a hammer or whatever a you did. A hammer? Yeah, and just break it. After the festival, what I did for both of our bracelets to break like the plastic thing was I literally just put the bracelet, the, the like plastic part in between a vise which is like what holds things when you're working on them, and then I just tightened it and crushed it. I know Christian doesn't want to talk about it, but if you're gonna do drugs at a festival, which is not a good idea in my book, just in general, just stay more hydrated than you would if you were sober, drink more water, be like conscious about what you're doing, because there were a lot of um, people who were just dehydrated and they were sent to the hospital, and really that doesn't only hurt you that affects like the whole festival for next year and that just makes them have stricter rules stricter things that you can bring in and it makes the whole thing less fun because there's more restrictions on what you can bring in really anything that you're gonna want to do take care of yourself and mind your surroundings be polite to people and don't give a bad impression for people that choose to you know partake in substances at festivals I had a lot of fun. It was I so had much fun. A lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tell us about what you're planning in the comments below. Any festivals you're going to, what kind of music you like. Let's start a discussion. Let's start building a little, you know, community out here. I mean, that's what I think social media is really for. Yeah. So let's get to it, guys. Leave your comments below and see you at the next festival. Taiwan
Your soul. 